Well, every day weather balloons are launched from over 900 sites around the world and meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees shows us the critical data they capture in today's weather IQ. Many of the products meteorologists use to forecast are high tech satellites, radar, computer models, but one of our most important tools starts with a balloon. Weather balloons are huge. They're five feet in diameter, barely smaller than me, with an attached parachute, string, and weather instrument called a radio sound. As the balloon travels into the atmosphere, it expands four times its size due to less pressure. It can float for more than two hours, reaching 130,000 feet. That's all the way up in the stratosphere, the second layer of the atmosphere. A commercial flight only hits 30,000. Now as the balloon rises, the radio sonde measures temperature, pressure, humidity, wind speed, and direction. That data returns in real time and is loaded into weather models. Upper air data is important year round in the Carolinas, but critical during winter and severe weather. Warm air in the mid-levels or a warm nose can mean the difference between snow and ice. Wind shear, how the wind speed and direction changes with height, can help forecasters determine the threat for tornadoes. Now eventually the balloon bursts and the parachute, string, and radio sonde make their landing. All of these items are biodegradable except the instrument. The National Weather Service says these radio sondes are labeled so you'll know what they are and they even include a return slip. They only get 10% of these back and it costs them a lot of money. But that descent back to Earth can cause concerns to residents who witness it. So unidentified flying object no more. Now you know it's just a weather balloon. For WCNT Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.